As temperatures rise, more people are hitting the trails to go hiking. Some may take it up a notch and go backpacking, and this week, one race taking that to an extreme. The Adventure Racing World Series is in the Ozarks with a five-day race full of trekking, biking, and paddling. Five News reporter Jose Carranza introduces us to the Natural State's inaugural expedition and how it's testing the human limits. I'm kind of thinking, oh my gosh, what I get myself into right now. Summerain is an Arkansan who has taken on a big task. I had never ran three miles nine months ago. That's because her group, Team Natural State, is among 35 teams taking on an expedition race through the Ozarks. Racers are given five days to paddle, trek, and bike the 390-mile course. Expedition racing is arguably the hardest endurance um, thing to any human can do. Jason Wolford coached Summer's team and is a co-owner of the Adventure Racing World Series. Expedition Ozark is one of many races across the world testing the human endurance. By day two, I think physically everybody is spent and you're racing emotionally um, and you're racing with your mind. There's no one here to show you where to go. You've got a map, you've got points you got to get to and you've got to find your way to so sprain an ankle on day number one, race is over. Tested by the elements and even your own self, Racers seek the world's most testing terrains, and while they're seeing Arkansas's nature firsthand, the state's first expedition race could be interrupted by severe weather. Sometimes the adventure racer will tell you, well, the worse the weather, the better the person. That's why for Summer, this race is even more important. Not only is she testing herself in the state she's proud to call home, but she's also doing it while in substance recovery. Having to wake up and train your body every single day, just like I have to wake up and stay sober every single day. And so it's kind of like overcoming really hard things, putting yourself to the test, and then hopefully being able to cross the finish line. Covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.